Greetings and welcome to Revna Den. I'm Michael Hassenfang. This is going to be a little tidbits episode. Just a short little reminder that I'm posting up today. To let you know that there's not actually going to be an episode this week. I'll start it back up next week. Um, mainly because it is Thanksgiving weekend. And this past week has been just absolutely chaotic that I actually kind of forgot today was Saturday. So I got up this morning, got a whole bunch of errands done and um, cleaned house. Started taking down the Thanksgiving stuff and getting out the Christmas stuff. We've had our tree up for some time now, but uh, now all the fall things are down. We're putting up the Christmas stuff today. The girls are at the grandparents and I sat down in the computer or in my office today and uh it, it just hit me that it's like oh man i still have to do an episode so and there's still a lot that i need to get done today so we're gonna pass up this particular show move it to next week which i think will be better because it's my anniversary that weekend and one would think that uh, i'd have less time then but actually it's it's really good because i took a, a three-day weekend off and Saturday, the girls are going to be going to the grandparents and they're going to a church like play thing in the morning. They'll be dropping them off. So I have the entire morning to make a video and I'll be doing that then. So we'll start off next week and it should run uh, these episodes until the end of the year. And I think that's where this series will end. Um, can't say for sure because I don't really have any new topics to go off of. Um, if I do, maybe I will make some new episodes, but as far as I know, the, the schedule that I have pretty much ends at the end of the year, and this little break that I have until next episode should work great. Until then, since it is Thanksgiving weekend, um, a little project for you is to sit and ponder exactly what it is that you are thankful for, and I think this will be a good prelude up into the uh, coming episode that we're going to be having next Saturday, which is Do Not Fear, Celebrate. And it is a pretty big topic for me because it's the biggest um, issue, the, the the like the biggest trouble that I have with this whole thing is to celebrate. And it's not that I'm in fear. I actually don't fear what's going on. And in fact, everything with the global elite and their agenda and you know, possible wars breaking out, possible new COVIDs or new like chemical or biological warfare, or, uh, even nuclear strikes, anything that's going down right now, I think is like in the just so far removed from anything that I'm really worried about. To me, my worry and anxiety is more on a personal level with those that I care about and friends. Um, I'm not even concerned so much about the financial situations. Again, it goes back to the, the will catch up episode that I had where the thought of them coming back where God is saying that they'll catch up and still not knowing if that just means that they'll just be awakened to everything going on, but that we won't have a friendship or that they will catch up and we will be friends again. Um, and there will be a return to people's health and prosperity. I'm, I'm more worried about their health and their prosperity than I am ever with mine. I don't even really care about mine. So, um, even in prayers, that's the last thing that I pray about, if at all, is my own health and my own prosperity. I'm looking forward to being a kingdom financier and giving lots of wealth and stuff like that. But uh, just money, prosperity, fame, uh, health, any of that stuff is always back burner for me on a personal level. And it's always focused on the people that I care about. And it's, it's a struggle for me to see them still suffering and then... People like Cat Care and other prophets, you know, saying to celebrate and focus in on what God says. To look towards him, to be thankful and give him praise and worship for what he's doing, even though we can't see it. And when the turnaround happens, we'll be even more exponentially blessed because of that. And I think that's a trouble that I'm having lately, um, is that particular situation. Is to find the worship, find the praise without grumbling and you know, complaining and all all the fun stuff that I'm pretty sure a, a lot of the Israelis did in the desert in their wilderness wanderings. It's kind of how I feel where I'm at. And I know I need to excel beyond that. And so this is, uh, this is a little topic, a little um, 
project, uh, not just for you guys, but for me as well, is to sit and think exactly what has the Lord done for you? What do you have to be thankful for? What are the promises that you believe the Lord is keeping for you for that day when the turnaround happens or may have already happened for you? Maybe you did move to a new location. Maybe you did start a new job. Maybe you did meet that particular someone. Maybe uh, your finances are better. Maybe the relationships or the projects or the, the people you're working with, um, just it clicked already and the Lord is setting you up. And I know for each person, it's a little different. So whether it happened to you now or it's going to happen to you at a later date and you just feel it kicking in like you feel in the atmosphere, something is happening, something's changing and you know it's there, but at the same time, you just, you're still stuck in this like just cage of darkness of this just immobility and beating down by the enemy that they're giving you. And it's the only thing that you could think about, especially when it comes to other people and you see it happening to them. And your main focus in life is to just make sure that they are doing better and, you know, declaring and de decreeing, sorry, and praying and pleading with God. And it's just like nothing yet. And we know that everything is in his own time and it will come to fruition. We just have to wait on it and give him thanks and praise in the waiting. And that's the, that's the biggest thing for me. That is the toughest, hardest thing. In fact, if anything, I feel that I backslid more because of the waiting than I have if things just turned around and I saw that they were better and they were doing well. I, I think I'd probably be in a different state of mind. Um, it, maybe that's a trouble. Maybe it's because I'm putting too much emphasis on them and not looking toward the Lord as strongly as I should, where it's not like I should totally throw them away like they're trash or thinking that their situation is nothing, but I need to make him the first love and to make them secondary because of the first love. When I pass all my troubles on to him, he will make the situation better and give us those things that we are asking for if it's within the Lord's plan, of course. So... Again, I know I'm sort of rambling everywhere. Um, this, this is just sporadic. I, I literally, once I realized I had to do the episode, I'm like, ah, oh, I clicked on the camera. And I'm like, all right, I might as well just say something. Let them know we're going to skip it this week. We'll do it next week. And that's my project for you is to focus. Spend time with the Lord. Again, sit and think of what he's done for you or what you are anticipating him to do during this turning table, this revival season where everything will be restored back uh, and even better to what it was. Um and how we should give thanks and praise and worship to him and to not live constantly in the griping and the anguish and the complaining and just the despair that we're in, uh, especially this weekend of Thanksgiving. So you'd think maybe we should ponder that stuff. Uh, and also not to constantly be the ones perpetually talking or grumbling or griping to the Lord um, and even praise and Thanksgiving sometimes, but to just sit at his feet and let him do the talking and to have us listen to what he has to say. And maybe we'll get some answers there as well too. Uh, I know previously I mentioned I was gonna do a topic on the numbers of 1111 or 1111. And it was funny because when I mentioned that, uh, I, I, I didn't realize it until after I did the episode, but I filmed that episode on November 11th. So 1111, 1111. So if that wasn't a sign that maybe I should be doing something, um, I, I should probably jump on that and get into those particular numbers. And I've seen more again, like uh, 55 five or 5555 or uh, random numbers that are in sequence, like two, like 222, stuff like that. So, or 1010. Um, it's been really weird, but the one that just keeps popping up the most is 11.11. So I should probably dive into that a little more with you guys and see what the Lord is trying to say with that. Um, so maybe after this episode, we're getting down into the grinding of speaking against certain demonic entities that are in the government or that are in the spirit of religion or that are in um, big tech. So... Uh, these are going to be the last few episodes that we're going to be going into and um, diving into that. But first, we're going to um, explain away on how we should not fear any of that and how we should celebrate and look forward in anticipation to what the Lord is going to be doing. So get ready for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. 
as you can tell, my nose is a little stuffy. Um, doing fine. The sickness has gone, so we seem to start. We're starting to get a little better here. It hasn't been a perpetual state of just sickness every week now. It seems this past week we've been doing a little better. So if any of you are praying for me, thank you for that. Um, and just let me know how you all are doing too, and I'll pray for you as well. So we will catch you next week. Um, have a great weekend, and I will catch you then. Bye for now.